What's going on YouTube viewers? Welcome back to your favorite YouTube fitness channel, aka ME Fitness. Today I have myself, Takira, Shantae, and Jayla, and we're doing um, ball transfer sit-ups on the decline bench. So we complete one sit-up when I bring the ball to her and come back and get the ball, and that's the equivalent of one. So my first set I did 15 and everybody else did 10. Then after we completed our first set, they decided they wanted to do it time. So I set the timer for 30 seconds and we completed as many as we could during the 30 second period. We ended up doing three total sets a piece. And this exercise, of course, is going to be for your abs. Yeah, because ultimately for some things we're going to have to wait anyway. So paces can't be defined as the ability to wait because you have to wait for some things. But it's about your attitude while you're waiting. So as you're going on your fitness journey and you're waiting for your body to change, how do you feel about the fact that you're waiting on your body to change? Do you have the proper attitude about it or are you um, angry or, or, or discouraged or whatever the case may be? when you're waiting for it you have to have faith that your body is going to change and have a good attitude while you're waiting on your body to change that's what patience is blood sweat tears effort and exhaustion that's what your gym dudes are paid with you owe let me get that You're not going to change in your comfort zone. You're not going to change doing what's easy. So if that's what you thought, you, you might as well think again. Come in here, do the hard work, and your body will transform. This is a wonderful quote and one that I've observed in action. If you pay attention to my videos, you may have noticed that I do um, incorporate a lot of females in my um, videos. So with that being the case, I've had the opportunity to, to experience these, these females inspiring each other on a first hand level because, you know, they, they are very supportive of each other as they work out. And um, I do my best to promote an environment where that atmosphere is very pervasive. Today it might be hard to implement this one habit, but tomorrow you'll be able to do it. Then as, as it becomes easier and easier to implement that habit, you can put another habit on top of that first habit, which may be hard to implement at first, but then you'll get used to it. So that's how you um, make a regimen of, of building yourself up. It's habit by habit by habit, layer by layer by layer, you improve yourself. So. Once you make one thing easy, you add another thing and add another and another until you're where you need to be. What's to think about? You're either going to do it or you're not. Once you've made the decision, get to it. Get in here and let's get after it. See what he said? Enjoy the results. You may not enjoy the process. You may not enjoy the actual exercise, but once you start to see your body change, once you start to feel stronger, feel like you have more energy, you'll appreciate it. You'll love the results. So get in here and get after it. You absolutely can't leave your fate in the hands of others because, I mean, there's only so much that others can care about your future. But they have to be busy building their own future. How can they, um, you know, spare the time to and the effort to worry about your future? And especially if you're not worried about your future. So if you want success, you have to work for it. Nobody can want it. Nobody should want it more than you, than you want it for yourself. Get to work. Honestly, the same way she feels about her gift of running is the way I feel about just my, my gift of being able to mold and shape myself um, from a physical standpoint. 
and the way that 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 inspires individuals is is a gift in and of itself and i feel like the more that i um develop this gift the more glory that i'm giving to my creator so that's why i'm so focused on doing what it is that i'm doing with this youtube channel this has to be your attitude averages are uh, available for everybody if they want it but you have to make up in your mind that average is not enough for you you were born for more born with the ability to do more and you are destined for greatness destined to do more and be more but you have to know that in your own mind and you have to refuse to settle for less refuse to settle for average and that's on any and every aspect of your life your greatness has to be uh, manifest no matter what it is that you're doing so basically what this quote is saying is people resist change because of the sacrifice that's necessary in order for them to change but that's that's the thing uh, change is always going to require some some type of sacrifice but instead of wondering what you have to give up think about what you what you stand to gain once you give up these things what is on the other side of the pain that you that you have to endure for the sacrifice don't worry about what you have to give up worry about what you stand to gain and focus on that ordinary is not for me and if it's not for me and you training with me and you even watching my stuff it's not for you either ordinary get you ordinary results we're not trying to have ordinary results we want phenomenal results so we're going to behave in a phenomenal manner let's get it you'll become who you choose to be and whether you know it or not not making a choice is a choice you'll be who you already are by default so don't just stay the same choose who you want to be and become that just like the story of the little engine that could he thought he could he thought he could and he did vice versa if you think you can't and you think you can't then you won't your mind is very powerful keep that in mind think positive thoughts get positive results as always, I want to thank everyone for watching another episode of AKR and Fitness, where we change the world one workout at a time. With that being said, we have completed this ab session, but I'll still see you back here shortly.